Hey there, everyone. This is Mark, and welcome back to Hosting Imp Stuff. In today's video, we're delving into the intricate world of email configuration. And not just that, we're going to amp up your email security using the powerful features that VirtualMin offers. Whether you're new to email setup or a seasoned pro, you're in the right place. Before we dive in, it's essential to have a functional VirtualMin server up and running. If you haven't set one up yet, don't fret. I've got a playlist filled with installation videos to get you started. The link is in the description, just a click away. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty. To configure your emails and fortify your security, you'll need to log in to your virtual server. Use the domain and port you've set up in previous videos. The login details are standard, root for the username and the password you selected when creating your VPS. But here's where it gets interesting. If you're thinking about future proofing your virtual servers and who isn't, you'll want to configure server templates. It's a genius move that simplifies the process for you and any future users. Just click on system settings, then server templates. and then click on default settings under edit template section select dns domain and scroll down to add dmark dns record choose yes with policy below customize the dmark policy to your liking depending on whether you want to quarantine suspicious emails or take a different route. Do some research if you're not sure, it's worth it. In my case, I'm going with quarantine email for that extra layer of security. And here's an optional pro tip. Consider adding extra DMARC options for an added shield. I've got the record in the video description for your convenience. and click on the Save button below. Now let's make life simpler for all your users. We'll enable auto configuration to let them set up their email addresses with ease. Head over to Email Settings, then Mail Client Configuration. Select Yes under Enable Mail Client Auto Configuration and click on the Save button below. A word of caution. Enabling this might affect your SSL settings, so we'll refresh those too. Jump over to Server Configuration, then SSL Certificate. Click on Let's Encrypt. And Request Certificate. Now for the moment of truth. We're going to create an email address with the same domain. Click on Edit Users and you'll spot an admin account already there, but don't worry about that for now. Click Add a user to the server and under Email Address, use any name you prefer. For this demo, I'm going with Mark. Add a password. then click Create. But we're not done yet. We need to ensure that everything is running like a well-oiled machine. Let's put the mail server to the test by setting it up in a popular email client, like Outlook. This is a fresh install of Outlook, and it'll prompt us to add an email address when we start it up. 
just follow the on-screen instructions, and when you reach Advanced Options, tick Let me set up my account manually. Then click Connect. Now, you get to choose the protocol that suits your needs, be it POP or IMAP. In my case, I'm going with POP. Enter the password you picked when creating the user in Virtual Min. Voila! It's working like a charm and your emails are secure. Thank you for watching the video. Your support means the world to me. If you found this helpful, please consider giving it a like, subscribing, or leaving a comment. Your engagement keeps us motivated and helps the channel grow. Stay tuned for more informative content, and remember, we've got your hosting and stuff needs covered. Until next time, happy hosting!